Love it or hate it, there's no question that the Cybertruck has divided opinions. It's going to be a Lamborghini. It's going to cost too much. Uh, it's not a mainstream product. There's going to be a gigantic battery. I'm calling it a toy for Elon fanboys. Even Tesla's own design team had mixed feelings about the Cybertruck. Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, said in Walter Isaacson's biography of Elon Musk, a majority of people in this studio hated it. They were like, you can't be serious. Elon was serious. He felt they had played it safe with the look of the Model Y and wanted to make a bold statement with a Cybertruck. Once every five to 10 years, something really special, a, a really unusual product comes along. And we'll remember those special moments. Innovation can be shocking. New designs can be unsettling. Remember when people laughed at AirPods? Elon's son Saxon once asked, why doesn't the future look like the future? Finally, the future will look like the future. His vision for a forward-looking design was inspired by the Lotus Esprit from the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me, a car he admired so much that he bought it for a million dollars and gave it a place of honor in Tesla's design studio. And the Cybertruck's engineering seemed to naturally call for a futuristic look. The vehicle is made from the same stainless steel used in SpaceX's Starship, so it's certainly tough enough for terrestrial travel. The body panels used in cars are traditionally made out of aluminum or steel alloys because of their ease of use and cost-effectiveness. However, Elon wondered if another material might be better for a durable, high-performance electric truck. This is an example of first principles thinking, challenging the status quo, breaking down assumptions to reimagine possibilities. Pickup trucks haven't changed much in appearance for decades. Elon's approach was to create something entirely new. If you want to do something radical and innovative and something really special like the Cybertruck, it is extremely difficult because there's nothing to copy. I mean, we dug our own grave with Cyber Cybertruck. In general, I find like everybody digs our grave better than themselves. <laughs> Despite how notoriously difficult the metal is to work with, Elon was determined to create a stainless steel vehicle. The Cybertruck will be heavy, but a stainless steel body can bear some of the load enhancing its durability and offering better protection for passengers. And if you're ever in an argument with another car, you will win. <laughs> oh my God. While the armor glass of the Cybertruck famously Maybe cracked a few years ago, Elon is serious about the Cybertruck being strong enough to withstand bullets. If Al Capone showed up with a Tommy gun and emptied the entire magazine into the car door, you would still be alive. So, uh, you know, and so people say like, well, you know, why did you make it bulletproof? I'm like, why not? <laughs> the Cybertruck uses a special type of cold rolled stainless steel patented by Tesla. Hot rolling involves heating steel to over 1700 degrees Fahrenheit or 927 degrees Celsius, making it soft and malleable. The steel is pressed and shaped by big rollers. As it cools, it shrinks, causing the tiny grains inside the steel that got stretched out to relax back to their normal shape. This results in less precision in the size and finish of the final product. While hot rolled steel isn't very strong, it's good enough for things like railroad tracks. In cold rolling, the steel is cooled to room temperature. Rolling this cooler, harder steel requires significantly more force. The intense pressure during this process makes the steel thinner and longer. The grains inside the steel get stretched out in the direction it's rolled and don't revert back to their original state. This gives cold rolled steel its superior strength and a smoother finish. But cold rolled steel is also harder to bend in shape, so straight planes and sharp angles are more practical. You can't actually stamp these body panels. The body panels would break the stamping machine. Stainless steel also doesn't need to be painted thanks to its natural rust resistance, which reduces manufacturing costs. When Franz von Holzhausen presented Elon with a full-size mock-up of the Cybertruck in July 2019, Elon's immediate response was, that's it. I love it. We are doing that. When some members of Tesla's design team suggested doing some market research to see how the public would receive it, Elon replied, I don't do focus groups. As reported in Isaacson's book, Elon explained, I don't care if no one buys it. We're not doing a traditional boring truck. We can always do that later. I want to build something that's cool, like don't resist me. He pushed for a prototype in just three months. 
the world got a taste of the Cybertruck in November 2019, where Elon announced its expected range and pricing. Fast forward three years later, when Tesla delivered the first Cybertrucks in November 2023. Thank you for buying Cybertruck. However, its range hasn't quite met the targets initially set at its debut, even with a range extender. Pricing has also increased. Although people have been eagerly anticipating the delivery of more Cybertrucks, Elon is quick to temper expectations. At best, he expects 250,000 Cybertrucks to come off the assembly line a year beginning in 2025. As the saying goes, good things take time, and the Cybertruck is no ordinary vehicle. The remarkable innovation of the Cybertruck requires a deep understanding of engineering principles. That's why I recommend Brilliant, a website and app that helps you improve your math, computer science, and data science skills interactively, and it's free for you to try out. Data analysis is increasingly crucial, especially in technologies like full self-driving. Brilliant's new Data Analysis Fundamentals course lets you work with real data, honing the skills needed for developing advanced machine learning algorithms. I personally dedicate 10 minutes a day to Brilliant's logic puzzles to sharpen my analytical thinking. You can try out Brilliant with a 30-day free trial by visiting brilliant.org slash newsthink. Plus, the first 200 people to sign up via my link will get 20% off a premium subscription, unlocking all the courses. Thanks for watching. For Newsthink, I'm Cindy Palm.